Hi, Ukulele Mike here. In recent weeks I've been sharing instructional videos on another server other than YouTube and that's Vimeo. My Vimeo channel, Ukulele Mike Lynch. Now what I've been doing on there is I've been posting videos that YouTube doesn't allow me to post uh, because they are considering them to be copyright infringements. Now there is an argument there about fair use in terms of educational instructions. So a Vimeo has been kind to me and allowed me to present these videos on their channel. However, not all of you are aware of that. And so what I've begun to do is, uh, is to put the videos on Vimeo and then I will do further instruction here on YouTube without actually playing the songs. So I can do a little bit more elaborate uh, explanations of the picking patterns and the chord progressions and so forth on the Vimeo uh, uh, instructions. So here's the first one. A day ago I released a Vimeo instruction on a song, a classic World War II song, The White Cliffs of Dover. So what I'm going to do today is show you a close-up on the picking pattern, which is a very cool arpeggio finger picking pattern that you can apply not just to that song, but thousands of songs in 4-4 time and uh, soft ballads and so forth and so on. So here's what we're going to do. Uh, first of all, I'll explain that I use the letter P for the thumb, I for the index finger, and M for the middle finger. Now in classical guitar tablature, the ring finger is an A, but in ukulele playing and in my own particular style, I prefer to just use the thumb, P, and the uh, index finger, letter I, and the middle finger, letter M, and just leave the ring finger out altogether. So the thumb plays the fourth and third string. So it has an alternating character to it. The I or index finger plays the second string, and then the middle finger plays the first string. So for instance, if you have a C chord, like such, I would play thumb on the fourth string, index finger on the second, and middle finger on the first. So if I strum those together or pick them together, the thumb goes down, and the fingers go up, and I'll do it in a harp-like fashion, like so. Now this pattern is based on a very simple arpeggio pattern that goes like this. You play the fourth string first. By the way, that's a low G, but it works with high G just as well. So you play the fourth string first, then you alternate over to the third string, once again with the thumb. Then the second finger, or index finger I should say, plays the second string. And the middle finger plays the first string. So let me run through that again. Thumb, thumb, index, middle. So it sounds like this when you repeat it over and over again. To make a little embellishment on that and make it even more interesting and also to kind of establish the beginning of the chord progression or beginning of the measure, I like to start off with the thumb, index, and middle together, like so, and then do your alternate on the third string. So it sounds like this. Instead of just the thumb, I go, and then I do P, P, I, M, and there's a complete measure of that chord. So it'd be... Get that? Try that with me. Thumb on the fourth string, index finger on the second string, middle finger on the first string, and just do a little harp pluck of that. So you go, then thumb, index, middle, then thumb, thumb, index, middle, and you've completed a whole measure. I'll do that again. This works on all chords. So thumb, index, and middle together, then thumb on the fourth string, now the index finger on the second string, and the middle finger on the first. Did I say that wrong? Four, three, two, one. Four, three, two, one. Four, three, two, one. Four, three, two, one. minor, G 
G7th, C. Try that with me. Start with the C chord, E minor, F, C, D minor, G7th, and C. Now, here's the link to the Vimeo instructional video for the White Cliffs of Dover, right here. All right, so stay with me on this. I'm going to be doing tons of these instructional videos over the next months. I'm going to be going to my Vimeo channel to pull the song out and then going to YouTube to give you further um, instruction on the picking and the chord progressions and whatnot. So I think this will work and uh, this is something I've been thinking about for some time how I can make this all work and I get so many um, inquiries about doing instructional videos on current uh, popular songs and I go, oh, I can't do that. Well now I can. I'll do the main video with the song itself on Vimeo and then I'll do the amplified instruction on the picking and so forth on YouTube so we can have the, the best of both worlds. All right, thank you again and happy strumming. Mm -hmm.